Hello, everyone, and welcome to President's The A-Team Play Pokemon Gold. I am President Joe Biden. President for now, Joe. And because you rigged last election. You two are not going to start with that now, right? Donald, let Joe finish his intro, since he is the one playing for now. Thank you, Barack. Like I was saying, I am President Joe Biden. And with me, I have Barack Obama, the great first N-word as president, and... What the hell, Joe? Even I would not make that joke, Joe. Relax, guys. It was just a joke. Don't be a snowflake, Obama. I also have with me the first tangerine president, Donald Trump. How are you guys? Apart from the racism that St. KDM did not warn me, I am fine. And I hope you all are fine, too. I am fine, too, Obama. I am looking forward for this gameplay. And I even have some ideas about some Pokemon I want. Everything okay with you, Donald? You seem kind of sick. Yeah, your voice is weird. I am fine, guys. Just my marriage with Melania is not great as it once was. Relax, Donald. Let's just play some Pokemon and forget that. Yes, Donald. Let's just focus on the game. By the way, you guys ever wonder why is Professor Oak and not Elm at the beginning of this game? I think Professor Elm is a loser. A loser who doesn't even have the guts to give us a Pokedex. A loser who has the worst starter of all time in Chikorita. Your voice changed a lot, Donald. What happened to it? Yeah, it seems like you became a new person. Care to explain? I just stopped thinking about the shitty marriage that I still have. I started to focus on the game and mission that we have to do now. Two continents, 16 badges. I'm actually quite excited. Great to listen to that, Donald. By the way, what should we name our character? I don't know. What about POTUS? What about you, say? I got it, guys. What do you think about this? Hell no! Chill, guys. It was just a joke. This one is perfect. What the hell is that name, Joe? Have you forgot to take your dementia pills again? No, guys. B for Biden, O for Obama, and the T for Trump. I just thought this name would be funny. It is a stupid name, in my opinion. Relax, Donald. As long as Joe picks Totodile as a starter, everything should be good. Nope. Cyndaquil is the best starter all the way. Teach him electric punch and we dominate that shitty for alligator. You are crazy, Donald. Feral Gatter with Ice Punch, Slash, and Surf destroys everything in his mighty path. Let me just pick the frame and I will think about the best starter between these two. What about this one, guys? Amazing Joe, the best frame for my best friend, my great friend Joe. Donald stopped kissing Joe's ass in order for him to choose Cyndaquil. By the way, Joe, if you pick Totodile, I will take you out to eat some ice cream. You really mean it, Barack? Of course. My great and best friend. The one and only, the great one. Please stop that bullshit, Barack. Joe, pick the starter you want. Totodile and Cyndaquil can easily own this game. But, but... But what, Joe? I wanted to see you guys fighting for me. Fighting for my opinion. Fighting for my approval. I miss having good approval rates, you know? Now is not the time to think about that, Sleepy Joe. Go get Cyndaquil, and in Goldenrod, we teach him electric Hey there, punch. sweetie. How are you? Come to Daddy Joe. Joe, don't start with that sus shit, please. And by the way, Donald, the attack is Thunder Punch, not Electric Punch. Look, guys, a skinnier version of Donald. I will let that one slide, Joe. Because I know you will pick the right starter. And that starter is Totodile. I'm going to explore New Bark Town a little bit more, guys. Reminds me when I was in a Portuguese ship in the 16th century and we discovered the sea route to India. I never in my life imagined that if I opened my captain's wardrobe, I would find the magic way to the Digimon world, where I would meet great ninjas such as Zoro and Light Yagami. You did a small rite after the Cape of Good Hope, and there you were, the amazing Hogwarts. Should we comment on that, Obama? Nope. After some time, like I did, you will get used to it. Finally, Joe picked the right one. Yeah, Joe, go and pick the right one. You can trust me, guys. I have made the right decision. I want to see your beautiful face when he picks Cyndaquil Obama. Keep dreaming, Donald. Joe will do the right choice. And that choice is obviously Totodile. Pick Totodile and I will buy Hagen Daz. The and bankrupt them forever. That one, Joe. Yes, Joe. Joe will make the right choice. See it for yourself. And there we go, my friend. We'll give you so much ice cream, Joe. 
chocolate chip is your favorite, right, my beloved friend? Please, no. Joe, don't you dare to do it? Screw you guys. I am going to do it. He is really going to do it. You are a demented piece of shit, Joe. Picks the worst starter from the worst Pokemon professor. There we go, Joe. I was going to, but you insulted me, Donald. Screw you guys. You really don't know how to be quiet, Donald. I'm sorry, Joe. Please, my beloved friend, forgive me. Forget it, Donald. I will pick this piece of shit that is Chikorita and name it to a useless anime character. Maybe you learn your lesson, Donald and Barack. Barack, Joe? Yes, Barack. You didn't fight for me the way Donald did. He was willing to buy an ice cream company just for me. Sorry that I did not have a million dollars loan, Joe. If I had, I would buy you two companies, Joe. I think Ban becomes pretty useless in the Seven Deadly Sins. Therefore, it's a good name for our Jotto starter. Starter of what? Don't correct him, Donald. Not worth it. Okay, I will follow your advice, Barack. By the way, guys, I think Gauther was the most useless uh, of the Sins. He had a good power and a good backstory. But at the end, it seemed like he couldn't do anything useful. Personally, I believe that title should go to Diane, simping for Meliodas the whole show. She had a boring backstory and an even more boring power. Ban actually had a good story with Elaine regarding his immortality. You guys are crazy. Ban sucked hard. But after season three, every character sucked pretty hard, too. That show was pretty bad. And you guys are discussing that pile of garbage. You know, you started it, Joe, by giving Chikorita that shitty name. He started by picking Chikorita, Barack. Never forget that. That is because you idiots did not fight harder for me. I was almost about to choose Cyndaquil just to save that company that Trump named. Run, Joe. He will kick you, and you are too old to fall. A bit late now, Barack. Are you okay, Joe? I can see now that stairs and silver are your worst nightmare. Good one, Donald. You guys keep making fun of me. I will have my revenge. Screw you guys. You already picked Chikorita. I don't see much revenge for you, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Brock is right on this one. Regarding the party, how do you guys want to choose it? I was thinking that each one could choose two Pokemon. This means that Joe can pick one more, and you and I, Donald, pick a two each. Is that okay for you two? Perfect, guys. It is all I need. What do you mean, Joe? I am your friend, bro. And I will try to be in order for us to be Pokemon Masters. Sure, sure. You always make fun of me. Whether it's because I am older, whether it's because I forget stuff, whether it's because you don't believe in my stories from the past. Like I said, I don't forget. Relax, Joe. We just make jokes. You are a part of this team. We are the A-team. Never forget about that. You really mean it, Barack? Yes, he does, Joe. And he speaks for me when he says that. Thank you, guys. Just for that, I will not force you to play with Tugepi. To what, Sleepy Joe? Please move on, Donald. As you can see, we asked St. KDM to cut the unnecessary battles that Joe is doing to grind that shitty Chikorita. Guys, this Donald 2.0 just taught me how to save. Hey, Joe, I need you to sign this papers, please. Not now, Hillary. Ask Kamala to forge my signature like you usually do. What is going on? Oh, hey, Barack. What is she doing here? Screw you, Donald. Relax, Hillary. Donald is different now. He is a good person with a good life, aside his shitty marriage, but that is another issue. He will just get another wife like he always does. You must be the biggest bitch in this world. You still mad about 2016? Joe, I will come back when you are finished with this crap. By the way, playing Pokemon Gold is super easy if you put the right movesets on Thyflosion and Feraligator. Bye. She is not wrong. Unfortunately, Joe picked shitty Chikorita. I mean, ban. I bet you didn't know, but Hillary is a beast at Pokemon. If you guys have any doubts regarding any moveset, she is the one to go. Sorry, Joe, but from Hillary, all I want is distance. Her marriage must be worse than yours, Donald. Please don't compare me to that, Arbo. This gentleman is so nice, I bet he has ice cream inside. I think he's just a pervert. A pervert who tries to take advantage of kids with no adult supervision. Oh, there is no ice cream. Sleepy Joe, you really thought this old pervert would give you ice cream? Of course, that is how they usually work, Donald. Should we comment on that, Barack? There are many things you don't know, Donald, so let's just not comment on this one. You know, Barack, that is kind of scary. Guys, I think I should go heal first. Let's change the subject. Have you guys seen the Attack on Titan final? It was amazing. Izayama Sensei never disappoints. 
But before you've watched these two films, did you guys thought Aaron was correct regarding the rumbling? I think it is a big price to pay for the peace of paradise. 80% of mankind death is too much blood for one person, or in this case, a titan. You guys are forgetting the most important thing. What, Joe? That Emir looks a lot with Mystical Elf from Yu-Gi-Oh. Can I ask Sync KDM to put them side by side so we can compare, please? That is just stupid, Joe. I see no similarity between these characters. But you gotta admit that you would bang Ymir Barak. That is the important issue. I admit that I would do it. I think King Fritz was stupid by not making his biggest weapons happy. And you know what I mean by weapons, guys. Good one, Donald. Can the editor remove these characters, please? I thought this was a Pokemon playthrough. Not the simping club for Emir Fritz fan. Chill, Barack. We know that Emir is not for you. But let the rest of us appreciate it. True story, Joe. Thank you, Donald. Can the editor put Emir back on? The mystical elf was just an excuse. Please, no! Joe, you and Donald have to chill on that sus shit. It is a joke, Barack. Don't be a snowflake. I just don't want to be canceled. And Joe made a racist joke with me. And you, Donald, have issue with your marriage, and now you are simping with Amir. And there it is, Obama being a snowflake. Good one, Joe. I think this run will not be that bad after all. You guys are still oh playing that? Joe, I need you to sign this resignation. I mean, law, of course. Ask Kamala to forge my signature, or come back at the end of this episode. Now we are recording. You guys really chose Chikorita? This will be the worst run ever? You guys are fucking noobs. How do you know we chose Chikorita, Hillary? By that name. Ban must be the most useless sin of the seven deadly sins. See, guys, but still, go away, Hillary. I am playing with the guys. I am out. Finally, we talked to a real professor. Screw that loser of Professor Elm. I know you don't like Professor Elm Donald, but I have to ask this one to Joe. What did you mean when you said Emir was not for me? Simple, my friend. If you don't get affected by Emir's weapons, you probably play on a different team than me and Donald. I respect it, Barack. I have no issue. We can still make this run together. Joe just roasted you like I do to turkeys at Thanksgiving. Joe, you are really checking all the boxes for us to be canceled. You know that, right? If they try that, I will use your strategy or George's strategy. Would you drone strike them all, Joe? Yeah, or claim that they have a certain type of weapons and not the Amir type, if you know what I mean. Who is that? Is that loser Professor Elm again? What does he want? Oh my God, what happened? Did he find a person with Amir's type of weapon? I hope it was not the guy that kicked Joe. Relax, guys. Maybe he wants to give us another starter since we already have a Pokedex. Maybe he wants to make one of you guys happy. Sleepy Joe, this is not Pokemon Yellow where you can get all three starters. Even you, Barack, call me Sleepy Joe. I always thought you were one of my best friends, even though you're a snowflake. Barack is not your friend, Joe. He doesn't even like Amir's type of weapon, bro. Yeah, Donald. I forget that Barack plays on a different team. I am not even going to comment on that. I think the whole world knows which team I play. More important, Joe, don't forget to heal Ban before the fight with Silver. Relax, my friend. I will destroy the guy with the mighty power of Ban. I am actually afraid of this battle. I refuse to play with a shitty cocksucker, Chikorita. We are not playing with one of your cool starters because you guys insulted me. Now let me humiliate this asshole with the worst starter ever such a beautiful beast that fire that face i love you cinderquill i wish you were a girl and we could have such beautiful kids first you simp with emir now you simp for a pokemon donald next will you simp for an hm i can simp for what i want barack but no worry i will never simp for the thing that you call life donald you just roasted barack like i do it to turkeys at thanksgiving thank you joe but that joke is mine i thought that joke was from hillary or kamala what the hell i am starting to get tired of this First, Joe makes racist jokes. Second, Joe picks Chikorita. After that, you keep calling me Snowflake. Now Donald is insulting my wife. Don't be mad, Barack. You are reminding me Please, of- Please, Joe, don't start with one of your stories from the past. But this would be a good one while I take care of this shrimp. I prefer not to risk it, Joe. By the way, never mistake one of my jokes with Kamala and that bitch of Hillary. Obama, Donald is just messing around. He doesn't mean to offend you. Like always, I have to be the normal one. I think we should change the subject. Before that, Barack, I have to say one thing. Donald, I think you and Hillary should be cool with each other. Not gonna happen, Joe. I hate her, she hates me, and I'm fine with that. Trust me, man. She is not that bad like most people think. She likes Pokemon and watches anime too. 
Just be cool with her and I don't put a smear girl on this party. Read the text I sent you, Donald, and everything will be fine. By the way, guys, I texted St. KDM to skip some battles I did. It's just for the pace of the game. Editing 50 minutes of video is way harder than a bit more of 20. No problem, Joe, but what will you name our rival? I think Silver is a nice name. He is my favorite Pokemon rival, and I like his redemption arc. Silver is a cool rival. But for me, the best rival is Blue. You have with him the ultimate battle for the Pokemon League. I agree with Joe. For me, Silver is the best rival. But for you guys and the viewers, who is the best and the worst rivals in the Pokemon franchise? For me, the worst is Wally. That retarded kid really attracted Ralt super hard, if you know what I mean. Nice reference to the Pokedex of Ralt's Donald. For me, the worst rival is Tierno from Pokemon X. The guy doesn't even try to have a full party. He should go to the gym with Machoki before thinking of becoming a trainer. For me, the worst rival is Howe from Pokemon Ultra Moon. Just by looking at him, you can clearly see why. Oh my god! I also like Bianca too from Pokemon Black and White but I am not going to say the reason for it. I bet you would share a nice ice cream with Bianca, you sus Sleepy Joe. You guys keep on calling me Sleepy Joe and sus Sleepy Joe. I am tired of it. I am going to avenge my honor. In this episode, I am going to choose my second Pokemon for this party. Joe, if you do that and pick a shitty Pokemon, I won't try to get along with Hillary. And if you do that, I will make all our Pokemon HM slaves. You orange former president, please stop talking if you don't want to make this run harder than it will be. Look at this guy trying to teach me, the goat, how to catch a Pokemon. Go away, you nerd. Trust me, you will like the Pokemon I will catch for you. Joe, you have been threatening us with revenge since you chose the starter. To be honest, I am not optimist regarding what you will do. I would accept a Pidgeot Barak. He is quite bulky and can attack quite well. This is not the one, guys. But let me just take care of this Pidgey and I will ask the editor to cut for the Pokemon I want. Nope. I am kind of tired of you guys showing me as your servant. And Joe, please stop breaking the fourth wall with the viewers. I was about to tell you that, Joe. This editor doesn't like that we break the fourth wall and some other stuff. What stuff, Barack? This guy seems kind of crazy. We will talk after the episode, guys. The rules are not wacky, but I don't feel comfortable discussing this online. My assumption was right. You picked Chikorita and named it after the worst of the seven deadly sins. Oh my god, she is here. Hillary, can you play for me and catch the Pokemon that I have texted you while I sign these papers? Why would you want to catch this Joe? Hillary, could you tell us which Pokemon does Joe want us to use in the party? I feel sorry for you if you let Joe pick your party. First it was Chikorita, now is this early game shit show of a Pokemon. Why is she here? Oh my god. Donald, remember what Joe told you what he would do regarding some HM slaves and most important, remember the text I sent you. Hey, Hillary, how are you? Screw you, Donald. You stole me an election, and Joe is going to steal you a run with the party he is creating. Hey, Hillary, Donald is trying to get along with you. Joe asked him, and he wants you guys to get along. Why would we do that? He hates me, I hate him, and I am fine with that. Hey, Hillary, is there any other paper I need to sign? Joe, now that you are back, why do you want Donald and Hillary to get along? They seem to love hating each other. Brock. You and Hillary aren't great friends, right? But you can speak with each other. I want to see the same with Donald and Hillary. Especially when I see two competitive people that have so much in common. Okay, Joe. Let me try to make this work. Donald and Hillary, please give a compliment to each other. I choose a party with six HM slaves, no problem. Please, Donald, it is not that hard. Be the bigger man. All right, I think it's cool that you are playing this game while Joe is signing some laws. Now you, Hillary. All right. I actually like the idea of the wall, Donald. I just couldn't admit it because it was election time. You guys cool now? Yeah, yeah I, I guess. guess. You actually did it, Joe. I am impressed. Never in my life I expected to see these two trying to get along. Yeah, Joe, when he is not sleeping, is a miracle worker. Good one, Donald. The problem with Joe is that most of the time when he is awake, he is eating ice cream or buying it to his van. Hillary, just get the Pokemon I asked you to get and stop spreading confidential information, please. There you have, guys. This mighty beast will be in your party. Oh, my God! Joe, I promise I will never piss you off again. Screw you guys. Hillary, after you catch it, name him. What I texted you. It's official. Your run is over. I hope this is not a Nuzlocke challenge of some type. Joe, haven't you already signed all the papers? Can't you come back to play with us? Not that I have any issue with you, Hillary. 
No problem, Barack. I don't like to fight for a lost cause like this run. I wanted to take a nap, but okay. After I catch this rattata, I have to make a power nap. Hey, Donald. What, Hillary? One of these laws that Joe signed is to build a little more of the wall. Oh my god. I am starting to regret helping Joe and making you two get along. What the fuck? Look at this name I am going to give to this rattata. Joe, one of the papers that you signed was that Rattata would have this way cooler name. After today, I really don't know who rules this country. I am scared too, of the country and of this party. Don't worry about that, fellas. I'm starting to get sleepy, so let's end this episode here. The editor wants to thank you all for watching and knows that the voices are not perfect. He wants to improve the audio and make sure that future content will have the best quality possible. Learning is a process, and he wants to give you guys the best. Bye, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. Hello, everyone. This is Donald, the top G Trump, and welcome to the second episode of President's A-Team Play, Pokemon Gold. With me, I have Sleepy Joe and the Snowflake Obama. How are you guys? Top G, really, Donald? Are you watching again, Andrew Tate? Funny how Barack only reacted to the Top G part and not the Snowflake one. He is embracing what he is, Donald. Good one, Joe. As you guys have seen, I have been training Splinter for this episode, and we will go straight to Violet City. On our way to Violet City, you will have some trainers to grind Splinter even more. Top G Trump already took care of them and showed who is the boss. Oh my god, you are really back on the Andrew Tate vibe, aren't you? Hey, Barack. Tell me, Joe. What color is your Bugatti? <laughs> did I do it right, Donald? Yes, you did, Joe. I am just worried that both of you are on the Andrew Tate vibe. Fuck you, Snowflake Bottom G Obama. Donald, I will only tell you once. If you keep that Andrew Tate shit the whole episode, I will call the CIA and tell them that you have oil in your house and that it needs some democracy. Got it? Hey, Barack. I just texted Hillary and the CIA just blocked your number. Donald, can you teach how to be a top G? Of course, Joe. And let me tell you that you just passed your first lesson. Really? I just passed my first lesson? Can we talk about Pokemon and not some random dude that doesn't know if he is in jail or not? I will teach you later, Joe, no problem. By the way, I'm gonna catch a... <laughs> Screw you, Obama. I bet this game is rigged. Relax, guys. Donald, why you wanna catch a bell sprout? We already have Ban as a grass Pokemon. I will show you later, Joe. Fuck this game, editor cut until bell sprout appears, please. And that is why I think Dragon Ball is- Finally! Donald, chill, please. Try to not one shot at Donald, ha 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 ha. A top G does not make the same mistake twice. Obama won Pokeball and this pea shooter from Plants vs. Zombies is mine. That top G story again? You couldn't go one minute without calling yourself the top G? And he didn't even catch the pea shooter, Barack. Good one, Joe. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. Fuck you, Snowflake Obama. Even Sleepy, I caught Splinter in my first try, Donald. That is the difference between a human playing this game and an orange mast as former president. Fuck you, Dementia Joe. Pea shooter caught, and now it is time to name this shitty plant. Donald, Joe is roasting you harder than I do to turkeys at Thanksgiving. Obama, you really have to use my jokes against me? Please be original. What? I thought this joke was from Kamala or Hillary. Not this again, Joe. By the way, I am going to name this pea shooter Nancy because I am going to do to him what I wanted to do to Nancy Pelosi. Are you going to trade this bell sprout for Onyx? Yep. It is all part of my master plan to defeat Faulkner's Pidgeotto. Will you train him until level 14? I don't need Barack. I am going to trade Nancy, get Onyx, and go straight to stupid Sprout Tower. Why is the Pea Shooter Tower stupid, Donald? You can get Flash and Train Ban. The only thing I don't like about Sprout Tower is that almost all the monks use Bell Sprout and no other Pokemon. What is there to like about Sprout Tower? It is a bunch of weak monks or sage that look like Varus from Game of Thrones and all they do is to pray for a bell sprout. Don't be mean, Donald. Everyone has the right to pick a religion. Even if your god is a pea shooter named Bell Sprout? For the first time, I have to agree with Donald. That pea shooter tower is pretty stupid. Speaking of stupid guys, that reminds me. When I was at the ninja school, there was a guy named Uzumaki. Aaron was his first name, and stupid was his middle name. One time we were training the spell to cast eggs over one's head and he was a mean boy when he casted a Dementor over my head. 
I got so afraid that I accidentally pooped myself, and the whole class laughed at me. Even the teacher was giggling in the corner. How I wanted a revenge from him. One day after school, I stole Rick's portal gun and called him to meet me on a small bakery where we would usually eat some biscuits that my Nana used to make. But I shot him with the gun and I will not be the one asking him. Okay, Barack, I will ask him. And then what happened, Joe? You were with the gun? I accidentally shot both of us, and we were transported to a new world. And you guys won't imagine what I had to do to return. Why did you ask Donald? I want to cut my ears off. Shut up, Obama. You were as curious as I. You know that when this episode airs, we will go to jail. And I hope Joe never did that in our world. What? Now I see why he likes to sniff on people. This is so bad. And that is how I was able to return. What the fuck? I guess I will have to go back to therapy. Schedule an appointment for me too, Donald. This was so bad. Fellas, look, it's Nancy. How is he back here? Speaking on Nancy, Donald, do you want to add Onyx to the party? Uh... Hey, Donald, Barack is speaking to you. Sorry, I am still shocked. What did you ask, Barack? So do I, Donald. I asked if you want to add Onyx to the party. Nope. He is just part of my plan to defeat Pajato. At the end of the episode, I will probably box him. Well, this guy's only used Nancy against us. No joke. The last sage has a level 9 hoot hoot. The same level as Faulkner's Pidgeotto, by the way. Barack, how do you know all that? Are you using Bulbapedia again? No, Donald, I passed this game before this adventure because I was testing some Pokemon. Barack is using Bulbapedia lol. From now on, I will call you Mr. Bulbapedia. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Joe. You and that Chikorita pick are the reason we can't have Ampharos. I thought the same thing, Barack. He was one of my picks before Joe ruined it all. Come on, guys. It was your fault, and you know why. And why is that Joe? Wait, Joe. Before you reply, check the text I sent you, Barack, and tell me if you are on it. This is a tough one. Okay, Donald, we're on it. Joe, please reply. Oh, fiddlesticks, and reply what, fellas? Why did you chose Chikorita as the starter? You guys know why I did it. Why are you asking me if you remember it? We don't remember it, Joe. Can I be honest with you guys? Sure, Joe. You are our friend. Oh, my God. I am going to lose this. You guys won't be upset with me? I think I will be pretty upset. Don't listen to Barack. He is just messing around with, please be honest with us. All right, I will be honest. The reason I picked Chikorita, that reason, I don't remember. <laughs> I knew it. Fuck you, demented boneless fossil. Easy money, Barack. That is the art of the deal. And unlike this Sage Edmund and Snowflake, Barack, I am not weak. What is happening, guys? Donald betted with me if you would remember or not why you chose Chikorita. It is clear who won. What did you guys bet? Chocolate chip ice cream, strawberry ice cream, which one? Joe, after that story, I, I can see why you would think that. But we bet at a small loan with no return, if you know what I mean. I don't. But that is why I have Kamala and Hillary. They help me to understand other things that are not ice cream. Let's move on, guys. Donald, any strategy to defeat the last sage? Nope. I believe in Splinter to one-shot these pea shooters quite easily. Donald, you know he has two level 7 bell sprout and one hoot hoot at level 9, right? Mr. Bulbapedia strikes again. Good one, Joe. And Barack, I believe in Splinter, but just to be sure, can you tell me which moves will hoot hoot have, please? No problem, Donald. Hoot hoot will have tackle, foresight, and growl. And last thing that I just remembered, Huthoot is level 10. It is official. He just went to Bulbapedia to check it. No, I wasn't. Don't be like that. You call me Snowflake and now at Mr. Bulbapedia. I don't even know what is that. Sure, Obama. Do you want to share your screen with your browser history from the last five minutes? That is private and I will not share my browser history for the world to see it, Donald. Just admit that you used Bulbapedia Barack. It is that simple. Can you guys stop with that Bulbapedia story? Like I said, I passed this game a few times before we started to record. I even refused to play Crystal, because we can't have Ampharos on that game. And you had to ruin it all, Joe. Don't hate the player. Hate the game, Barack. The game didn't force you the worst starter in Pokemon history, Joe. 
but his dementia did, Barack. I guess I have to talk with Jill to make sure you take all your pills, Joe. You're not a doctor, Barack. You are just a snowflake nerd that has a second screen on Bulbapedia. I wish you were like Silver Joe and pick a strong Pokemon like Cyndaquil or, or a good party member. The difference is that I am no thief and I don't steal Pokemons. And yet you stole my election. Moving on, guys. Which character you said that this sage looks like Donald? It's Varys from Game of Thrones. St. KDM, please put that fat eunuch on the screen. It is a better comparison than Ymir and Mystical Elf. Guys, look, it's Nancy again. Speaking on Ymir, I think she is similar to this Bellsprout. Can the editor put them side? Fuck you, Joe. Can you stop simping for an anime character, please? Don't be like that to Joe Barak. I bet even you have an anime character that you simp a bit. Unlike you, Donald, I am happily married. I don't need to simp for any other woman or fictional character. Come on, Barack. You may be married, but that person is not a woman for sure. She looks like a, a certain Pokemon from Generation 1. Which type, Joe? Ice or fighting? Joe, I dare you to reply to that question. You are not President Barack. What are you going to do? Call Will Smith to defend Jinx or Mankey's honor? It's Jinx Donald. Did he just left Donald? Snowflake Obama strikes again. Should we call George or any other president? Wait, Top G Trump knows who to call. Who is it, Donald? Forget it, he can't come. Apparently he is occupied with a war in Europe. I'm going to call George to see if he wants to join us. He's playing football manager with Ben Shapiro and that guy's lame as hell. What about I call Hillary? We are not that friends, Joe. And by the way, a Top G only speaks to girls if they are his wife or a side chick. Hillary is none. What if I call Bill? He is pretty cool, and I think he is also a top G like you, Donald. Bill is a top G? Of course, Donald. How do you think he is still with Hillary after all the things he does? Screw Bill. Let's try to pass this game, me and you, Joe. I will even help you with my lawyer when this episode airs. We don't need lawyers, Donald. I still have the drones and the cages of Barack in the basement. Regarding the game, does that mean I can pick another Pokemon? No, Joe. I will stay with Brock's Pokemon choices. He told me I could have them before he left. You are so lucky, Donald, and to think that I was his vice president. Don't be sad, Joe. Let's go to the gym and get our first badge of the run. Editor cut this until we were in the gym to kick Faulkner's ass. And that is why I don't agree with Barack regarding Dragon Ball. Who knew you had so many opinions regarding Dragon Ball and One Piece? Hey, Donald, I just had the best idea ever. Is it about who is more of a top G? Is it me or Bill? Don't think about that, Donald. It is even a better idea than being a top G. It is something you never did in your life. Is it a threesome? A threesome, but with a guy? A threesome with Siamese twins? A threesome, but with a horse in the middle? If it is, I have done it all. No, Donald, it is not about threesomes, but I will want to know the horse story with detail about the idea now that Barack is not here. Do you want to say the N-word? I never said it, and I am a curious person. Now that Barack is not here. Yes, Donald, it's now or never. I don't think that it is a good idea, Joe. This episode will go to YouTube. Come on, Donald. Are you a top G like Bill or a top pussy? I am Donald Top G Trump, and we are going to say the N-word. Let's go, Donald. Are you ready? Yes, Joe. On the count to three. One. Two. Three. Knee. Knee. Hey, guys, I am back. Thank God I can still see the gym battle. Fuck you, Barack. I thought we were friends. What the hell? Is everything okay, Joe? Of course we are friends. You were my vice president. Ignore him, Barack. He just forgot to take his dementia pills. Don't protect him, Donald. I was your vice president and the one who took care of the drones and the cages. And you give your Pokemon choices to Donald. I thought we were friends. I never did that, Joe. I had to talk with St. KDM because of your story that can put us in jail. I didn't tell you guys any story today. Don't you lie to me. I already asked Hillary and Kamala to send you back to Kenya. Joe, <laughs> I was born in America. I don't care, Barack. If Donald will be the first former president to go to jail, you will be the first to lose U.S. citizenship and be deported to Kenya. Let's chill a bit, guys. Can we finish this after the gym battle? Okay, Donald, but I don't forget Barack. So, Donald, what is your master strategy against Faulkner? To one-shot his whole team with Hyperfang. I will use Onyx to lower Pidgeotto's defense and Splinter will take care of the rest. Trust me, guys, this is the best strategy for us to get our first badge. Guys, it's now or never. Let's try to be the A-team that we can be. 
Donald, aren't you going to train Ban in this episode? I refuse to play with shitty Ban. That thing is useless in most gyms and has stats almost as bad as a Magikarp. Focus on the battle, Donald. In Splinter, we trust Barack. Relax. One is gone, Donald. Now comes Pidgeotto. Now it is time for my master plan. Let's go, Donald. Show that master bird keeper who is the boss. He is level nine, Donald. Just like Mr. Bulbapedia said. Time to sacrifice Onyx to this Pidgeotto like the Mayans used to do to the sun. You literally caught a bell sprout. Pea shooter, Barack. Pea shooter. Never forget that. You guys talking about Nancy. He is so important that has a tower to honor him. Screw Nancy Joe. It's time for Screech to enter the action. Damn. I wanted to use Screech two times to lower Mora's defense. Barack, didn't you see in Bulbapedia? I mean, remember from passing the game, what moves would this Pidgeotto have? Good one, Joe. Super funny, Joe, but my memory from passing the game is not that good. Remember when I confused the level of the Hoot Hoot from the last Sage? Sometimes it happens. Let's go, Splinter! I was the one who chose you, Splinter. Make me proud. Please, one shot, Splinter. Let's, Let's go! go! This rat is a hero, guys. Never underestimate her again. My top G master plan worked. First badge is done. 15 to go. Great job, Donald. In Splinter, we trust. I am so happy, guys. Thank you for your support in this battle. We are really a A team. Of course, Donald. Great strategy and great gameplay. You were amazing. I am starting to feel sorry for the fact that you might go to jail. Joe, I will not go to jail. Relax. It's all part of my top G plan to win the election next year. <laughs> that is a relief, Donald. I am actually starting to like this gameplay. Maybe I should stop trolling. I am not going to comment on that, Joe. I am actually scared for the next time you play. This stupid Faulkner has a flying gym and gives us a ground TM. Joe, can you tell the CIA that Violet City has oil? Sure, Donald. It will be the first thing I do tomorrow. You know what that means, right, Donald? If the guy can't even remember the story he told us, Violet City will be standing tomorrow. Speaking on that, Donald, why is Joe trying to deport me back to Kenya? After you left Barack. I might have told Joe that we needed a new partner to play this game and that you had let me have your Pokemon choices. I might. It doesn't mean that it happened. What is wrong with you? It was a joke, Barack. I didn't know that he would be that upset. Upset about what, fellas? We just got our first badge. I am super happy. And I want to play with you two forever. He is going to send me to Kenya Donald. And I can't do anything because Joe told the CIA to block my number. Don't worry about that, Barack. I just texted Hillary. And the CIA is not going to deport you to your home. Regarding the Joe story, what happened? First. Kenya is not my home. Second, about the story I just talked with St. KDM, and he will mute the part where Joe explains how he came back to our world. I also scheduled a therapy appointment for him, and he will come with us. Speaking on returning to this world, that reminds me one time I had Rick's portal gun, and there was this stupid- No! no! Come on, guys, it's a great story, and I never told you this one. I believe that it is an amazing story, Joe, and we would love to listen to it but on the episode where we face Morty for the ghost type gym. Yeah, Joe, Barack is right. We believe that such a great story like that will suit that episode perfectly. I can see why you could say that, and I agree since this is a pretty wacky story, my friends. Well played, Barack. Uh, by the way, is there any Pokemon on this route that you might want to add to the party? Hmm, I don't think so, Donald. I wanted Ampharos, but with Ban on the team, I don't think he will be so useful as he would be with another starter. For water type, I am not that big fan of Whooper, so I think we can go straight ahead to Union Cave. Okay, Barack, I will go straight to Union Cave. Sure thing, Donald. Speaking on the party, do you have any ideas? I have some regarding the types and some experiences that I would like to make. For example, I would like to try one party uh, without any flying Pokemon. I believe we usually have a flying Pokemon, but it's because of the HM. What about we try something different it would give all of us and the viewers a different experience. Fellas, I don't want to walk around everywhere if we can use fly. I'm not the same athlete as I once was. Joe, this is not the 18th century where stairs were not a problem to you. Regarding your idea, Donald, we would still have an HM slave for fly, right? Of course, Barack. You can catch Spiro before the second gym if you want. More important now. Donald, can you get the phone number of that cutie, please? Really, Joe? 
Of course, Joe, I will show you that I am more top G than Bill. I believe in you, Donald. You got us the first badge, and now you will get this beauty's phone number. Hey, Liz, how are you? Top G Donald here. You're a really pretty, and I would like to meet you and perhaps show you my horse. Can you give me your phone number? What? I want it, you want it. Top G is here. You are 80. I am just 21. Screw you, old creep. Dear Liz, we can talk after this battle, but let me tell you that age is just a number, and speaking on number, my phone is here, and you can put yours in it. Did it work? What do you think, Joe? I am nervous, Barack, and she's so beautiful. I know I'm good at battling, but you know what I want, Liz? He did it, Barack. He actually did it. Let's go! Top G Trump is in the house. I am speechless. Of course you are, Barack. I am the GOAT! Donald, can you pass me her phone number? She is a bit old, but for legal reasons, I am not going to complete this sentence. Sure, Joe. No problem. Back to the party, Barack. Do you want to do this without flying type? I will accept for two reasons only. First, I agree that will be a different experience for us and the viewers. And second, you will do what I have just texted you, Donald. Let me see that. Are you guys hiding stuff from me again? You know I can just ask the NSA to hack our phones, right? We are not hiding anything. I mean, I texted Donald to teach how to be a top G after this episode. He even said you had already passed the first lesson, Joe, remember? You guys are amazing. Thank you, Donald. By the way, you still have to pass me the number of that picnicker. I will do it tomorrow, Joe. And why is that, Donald? Because... Because of what, Donald? His phone died, Joe. Oh, fiddlesticks. I am so unlucky. I will do that tomorrow. Today we go out to eat some ice cream, Joe. You really mean it, Donald? All the ice cream I want? Donald? Yeah, sure. Just use some of the money you send to Ukraine, buddy. Kamala doesn't like when I do this, but of course, Donald. Ice cream and Top G lessons, what a perfect day. Well played, Donald. We just saved that picnicker's life. Yeah, sure, Obama. At least I'm not going to pay for it. Can you please do some like and sub begging like every other channel does? Of course, Donald. It's that time of the episode where we break the fourth wall and ask all the people who managed to get this far on the episode to drop a like and to subscribe. It's easy and it helps a lot. Thank you for watching. Barack, that was lame as hell. I bet everyone just left after that. Let future Top G Biden take care of this. Hey, viewers, I have the CIA and the NSA at my orders, so I know who is watching the episode, who likes and subscribes, and who doesn't. If you don't like or subscribe, I will send a message to the Army or my Secret Service saying that there is oil in your house. I bet they also have weapons of mass destruction. And I bet that they are slow poke tail sellers like this ugly fat guy. We will make your house the next Hiroshima. You will be the next Qasim Soleimani. You will be the next Yemen and see me gaining a Nobel Peace Prize for it. To avoid this, all you have to do is two clicks. To like and to subscribe, fellas. Do you think it worked, Barack? I think so, Donald. I think they believe that Joe might actually waste our resources to have the Secret Service on a Pokemon playthrough. But guys, I really thought that... Sleepy Joe strikes again? Joe, we will not harm the viewers. We just followed the lead of your speech because we thought you were saying a joke. Now that I stopped to think about it, maybe this time Joe did not have a bad idea. Screw you, Barack. It's 2v1. We win, and all the things we said back there are now for real. So... The message today is to save yourselves. All you need is two clicks to like and to subscribe. Each like is one day that Barack can't go to Bulbapedia. And each sub is a day that Joe will not eat ice cream. And for each comment is a day that I will not go to McDonald's. Hello, nerds. This is Hillary Clinton, the one who should have been the first woman president, but Donald stole my election. I am just playing because someone has to do it while Barack opens Bulbapedia before the other two losers arrive. That part was not supposed to be said, Hillary. Barack, you may trick everyone into believing you passed this game before you recorded it, but we both know that even for Pokemon X and Y, you used Bulbapedia. You should be ashamed. I admit it. I am a Bulbapedia addict, and knowing stuff is my thing. Snowflake Obama, why did you start the episode without us? Guys, I was just with Hillary discussing ideas for the party. Didn't want to ruin you the surprise? Told him to use the shiny Gyarados as your water Pokemon. You guys should catch a Spearow to handle Bugsy, the gym leader. 
with your party, you will get destroyed by Scyther's Fury Cutter. Me and Barack decided that we will make a different party. We will not have a flying type, just an HM slave for fly. And your gameplay will end at the second gym. Just catch the damn Spiro and level him until 15. That should be enough. Chill, guys. At least she wasn't playing the game while Barack was opening Bulbapedia. How is everyone? Did you take care of the intro, Barack? I am fine, Joe, and the intro is done. I trained Ban with some trainers before entering Union Cave, and he should evolve before we leave this cave. I am fine, too. And it's official I am divorced, and Top G Donald is back at the game. Top G? Last time I met a guy who called himself a Top G. He got impeached because of some dress. And you're still with him, Hillary. See, Donald, I told you Bill was also a Top G. Every woman likes a bad boy, and Bill is the ultimate bad boy. Sure thing. Barack, what are you going to do this episode? I am going to get us to Azalea Town and take care of Team Rocket. Maybe that slowpoke tail seller we met last episode is involved in this thing. Let me just do one last question before I let you guys play. Does Violet City have oil? No, it doesn't, Hillary. Donald and Joe got pissed off because a flying-type gym gave us a ground-type TM. I look at Faulkner and see Kasim Suleimani. Maybe he is suicidal, I don't know. Maybe he should blow up like I did to inflation. Maybe a drone strike would suit him well. Maybe he has weapons of mass destruction. I think Violet City needs democracy. Maybe Faulkner needs a trip to a special place in Cuba. Maybe Putin should know that Violet City once belonged to Ukraine. Good one, Barack. Just to be sure, Joe, we don't have to do anything to Violet City, right? The usual regime change operation is enough. I still remember the Pea Shooter Tower. I think Violet City has oil, needs democracy, and doesn't want one of our military bases. Agreed. Violet City will cease to exist and we will make Guantanamo 2.0 on it. What? I guess that is the correct approach to the problem. I will take care of that. Bye, everyone. One problem is solved. Now let's focus on the game. Barack, will you use Hillary's suggestions? Regarding the party? Of course, Barack. Do you want to pick the water-type Pokemon? Sure, I am undecided between Gyarados and Tentacruel. If you guys want to make it funny, you could pick a Seeking. But why are you undecided, Barack? I think Gyarados is a beast. Gyarados is a beast! And Tentacruel because he is a bulky Pokemon that can handle a lot of damage. Joe, let me tell you that after your choices, we will not want any advice from you. And Barack, pick the shiny one, please. What about Lapras? We can get him at Fridays at this cave. You picked this game because of Ampharos, who does not exist on Crystal. Now, you don't want to pick the shiny Gyarados, who is a great part of the story? What about Slowpoke? He is like a pink Donald who is always sleeping. I am not going to choose a fusion between Sleepy Joe and Fat Orange Donald. Slowpoke looks like Donald if he ate too much strawberry ice cream. Screw you, Barrack. That is not funny. I am not fat. I am just bulking for the gym. Look how he said your name, Barack. The guy lost it, Joe. By the way, for how many years have you been on that bulking phase? When was the last time you ate something green, Donald? At least my wife is not an ice type from Generation 1. At least I still have a wife, you obese rotten orange. If you make Jinx your wife, you are committing bestiality, Barack, and that is a crime. Chill, Donald. That was a strong one. Don't protect him, Joe. He knows his drone's crimes, and now we know his bestiality crimes. I don't need protection because everybody knows that my wife is not a Pokemon. At least Jinx is an always female Pokemon. Many people call Michelle Michael. You may say what you want, Donald, but at least I don't simp for anime characters. And by the way, I never lost an election. That is the difference between us. Guys, chill, please. I am scared. No, I don't relax. That election riz was a low blow, Brock. Screw you, walking heart attack. Fuck you, Mr. Bulbapedia. I really hope you end with that orange ass in jail. Maybe I should call Hillary and say that Joe's deportation order from last episode is please, back. Please, can someone help? Maybe before I get deported, I pass by Florida to kick you in the face. If you don't chill, I will press this red button beside my bed. I have two of them, and I don't know which one is ice cream. And each one is the nuclear one. Joe, tell Barack that he can pick whatever Pokemon he wants. Tell him that I don't care. Joe, tell Donald that I will most likely pick Gyarados, but that I also have to think in other alternatives that might also fit our team. And I tell you both that this is not school. Stop with that nonsense. He was the one who started it. Barack, let's stop. If Joe is being the reasonable one, it doesn't matter who started it. Just chill, please. Donald, I will think of your ideas, and thank you for letting me pick the water Pokemon. I trust you to make a good choice, Barack, and I will accept your decision and reason for it. You should apologize to each other. 
You guys said some nasty things, and our viewers should not see two former presidents acting like this. I will stop this bickering, but I don't have to like Barack. I will stop this talk and focus on the gameplay. Let's move on from this subject. Moving on, Ben is almost evolving, guys. Like I said, he will evolve before we leave this cave. You want a trophy, Mr. Bulbapedia? Donald, don't start this again, please. This last trainer should take care of the job regarding the evolution. What Pokemon does that last trainer have, Barack? If I'm not mistaken, he has a level nine Vulpix. Switch to Splinter after one round or Ban will be burned alive like the Catholics used to do to sinners. Come on, Donald. Trust Ban. He is six levels higher than that cheap Karama copy. That Karama reference was a good one. And as long as Ban doesn't get burned, I believe he will take care of Vulpix. Donald, trust in Barack's strategy. Your luck is that he is not using Ember. That is not strategy. Ban will prove you wrong. I am actually starting to like this little fella. I agree with Barack. Ban is so cute. That leaf on his head is an amazing detail. If you want to see Ban evolving change to Splinter, or that leaf on his head will explode like Barack did to Yemen. I will do it. Not because you said it, but because I don't want to see this cute fella turning to Yemen. In Splinter we trust. Trust in Splinter to shine and ensure that Ban evolves after this battle. I think Hyper Fang can one-shot this Karama from Wish. It will do it like it did to Pidgeotto. And this is Splinter being Splinter, guys. I hope this fella becomes even more cute after Evolution, fellas. Check for yourself, Joe. Guys, let's be quiet that Ban is about to evolve. Fuck you. You don't tell me to be quiet, you jinx lover. Screw you! Go back to your empty house in Florida. Don't you dare to ruin this moment for me, guys. Oh my god, he is ugly. Who took a bite on his leaf? What is that leaf necklace he has? That is the starter you chose, Joe. Can I release him and catch any other Pokemon? You should take care of that next episode. Don't do it, Joe. You chose Chikorita. Now we will get 16 badges with it. Let the poor old guy have one of his final wishes. I thought this would be a good experience for the viewers. Like the no-flying type party member Donald. Chikorita is just too bad. He becomes even worse if you have a strategy like you had against that Vulpix. I won the battle and Ban evolved. That was my job, you fat Dragonite. Jinx lover. And you are a pig knight with two days to live. Two days to live? Is that the best insult you have? Yes, before the inevitable heart attack. Joe, Brock told me that ice cream was bad and he didn't like you as a vice president. You really did that, Barack? Of course not, Joe. But Donald told me that if he does not go to jail, he will buy every ice cream shop and close it. You will really do that, Donald? Of course not, Joe. I may call you sleepy and demented, but I consider you to be my friend. Guys, can you stop the lies and the drama, please? Why did I accept to play with you guys? One picks the worst starter ever. The other one says that I can pick the water Pokemon, but if it is the one he wants, I don't know each one is the worse. Barack, chill. Donald already said he will accept any Pokemon and reason for you to pick it. Let's stop with this drama. Snowflake Barack evolved to become a drama queen. Donald, at least I can still evolve. Your next evolution is in heart attack. Hey guys, I had an idea. Why don't you two together take care of the like, comment, and sub begging for this episode? Let me try. Top G Trump will take care of this. Obama, you just follow my lead. Oh my God. Uh, sure, Donald, let's try. A recent investigation showed that 96% of the people who watch this content are not subscribed. Therefore, we have to solve this issue together and just press a fucking button. It is not that hard. By the way, press like and comment on how do you think Joe will do against Bugsy next episode. Come on, guys, 96%. In this adventure and with this party, every bit of help is needed for us to achieve success. Thank you for watching, and now let's go meet Kurt. Do you guys want the CIA to hack these 96% and to make them subscribe? Nope, we want to do this in the right way. What do you need, Hillary? The army is ready to take Violet City. I just need you to sign this paper and we are on our way. Sure, Hillary. Don't forget to completely explode the pea shooter tower. Joe, before you sign that, remember that Violet City has the best ice cream in this whole region. They also have girls that don't mind if you go there and sniff. It's actually an accepted tradition. It means respect, and the older is the person who does that, the more respectful you are. Hillary, cancel the operation and add Violet City to our closest allies. I want Faulkner to seat beside me in the next G7 meeting. Do I have to cancel Faulkner's suicide? Everything, Hillary. 
Violet City will live to see another day. Fuck you, Obama flake. Why do you have to ruin my fun? Hillary, go away and have fun sending weapons to Ukraine. You ready to take care of Team Rocket, Barack? Of course, Joe. I still wonder what do they want from this peaceful and isolated town. Maybe that Kurt guy you were talking about might know. I got to admit that I respect this Kurt guy. And why is that, Donald? He is just an old guy that makes shitty pokeballs. Obviously, you would not understand. Greatness can see greatness. Of course, Donald, you are the greatest ever. Can you guys shut the fuck up? We have to go to the well to help these slow pokes who are having their tails cut off. Why would someone do something so bad? What is the sense of cutting slow poke tails? The business idea is that slow pokes tails are always regenerating themselves. Therefore, they can keep on cutting and making money off of it. That is just cruelty. Poor Slowpoke. Nobody deserves that. If you remember this, it is not the first time that Team Rocket does these things to Pokemon. Are you speaking about the Lavender Tower in Generation 1? Poor Cubone's mom. In Pokemon Fire Red, there were several times where I caught a Cubone in Lavender Tower to honor that brave mom. That is beautiful, Joe. I never expected something so deep. The best I did was what we were going to do to these boneless shits. And what is that, Donald? To destroy these punks. I make a lot of business, but I would never put myself in these shady deals. You know that Team Rocket most likely doesn't pay taxes. I think you would be a good fit for them, Donald. Good one, Barack. But please destroy these Pokemon abusers. Even I admit Obama Flake did a good joke now, but the... Uh... But what, Donald? Do you want to join these slowpoke butchers now? Never, Joe. I was going to say that it is ironic that a Jinx abuser is stopping these slowpoke abusers. Ha 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 That one was strong, almost as strong as Kizma. Who is Kizma? Is he more top G than me? Really, Donald? Kizma balls. How did you fall for that one? Donald, this is older than my presidency. I fell because I wanted Joe to have his glory moment, not because he got me distracted with the slowpoke thing and with the fact that I must have to get tax advice from Giovanni. Why do you want to meet up with Giovanni? That guy's killed Cubone's mother. That guy invaded Silph Co. He is also our rival's father. And even Silver, who is Giovanni's son and a Pokemon thief, despises Giovanni and Team Rocket. Okay, I admit it. I just want to know how he does to not pay taxes. Because he puts his shitty crew cutting Slowpoke's tails. Do you want to be a Slowpoke butcher, Donald? Never! Keep on destroying these bastards! Oh my god, Donald, can you get that cutie's number, please? Joe, this cutie is part of the shitty crew that is cutting these Slowpoke tails. Yeah, Joe, I refuse to help you with this one but I can change her, guys. Please trust me. It's not gonna happen, Joe. Please don't start to simp for a rocket grunt. If you guys don't help me, I will do it myself. Hey, sweetie, come to Papa Joe. She is just ignoring you, Joe. Donald, can you help me, please? Sorry, but I refuse to help you get a rocket grunt. She will make you a Pokemon butcher and we are here to save this city. I told you guys that I can change her. She will come to me to the White House and for a few legal reasons, I will not tell the rest of this story. Isn't she too old for your liking? I bet she has more than 22 years. I bet at the time of this game, she was younger. I have no issues with that, Donald. Joe! Donald already said that he is not going to help you getting this grunt's number for you to traumatize on the White House Cage's cave. Speaking on that, wasn't that cave next to the one where we kept the games? Yes, on the left of that one, before you would get to the drone's cave. You sure, Barack? because I was there the other day and that cave now has posters and magazines of Eastern Europe women and some old golf material. No, that is not right. I am pretty sure that is where we decided on the cages, Joe. I threw these cages away. I made that cave dedicated to all of my ex-wives. I also decided to store some old sport game there. Why you did that, Donald? That was the most important room for me. Barack told me that I could play there with my friends regardless of their age. I like to please myself to my ex-wife's when Melania is not on the mood. And that location between games and drones was pretty good. I don't even want to know how would you play with cages with the size of a child. That is quite simple, Donald. Let me explain you. Joe, that's enough. Don't worry, Barack. We tell the editor to mute this part like he did to his story last episode. And you will be the one recording to boost your chances for next elections, right? How do you know that? I never told anyone this plan. I bet Barack has a wire on your therapy sessions, Donald. Is it true that you are back to peeing on your bed after some wacky story I told you guys? What? He is lying. I would never do that to a former president like me. Barack, don't call me a liar. You even send the audios to the WhatsApp group with Hillary and Bill. What? Okay, I admit it. I did that to get some dirty stuff to help Joe for next year. I didn't get any stuff like that. 
but you have some issues with your uncle. Please, can we not speak about that on YouTube? Relax, Donald. Nobody watches this channel anyway. By the way, unlike Barack, I think your uncle was a cool guy. I would love to meet the guy. Relax, Joe. You will be able to do it in no time. Really, Donald? I hope you have not deleted his phone number by accident like you did to that picnicker. There is no need for me to give you any phone number. The guy is dead, and I bet you will not have much left in you, Joe. That was a mean one, Donald. I just thought we shared similar tastes like... For legal reasons, you will not complete that sentence, Joe. Come on, Barack. You should let your former vice president speak freely. I am not going to allow you to record Joe's nonsense like I do to your therapy. Let's make a deal, Barack. You stop recording my therapy, and I will be more supportive of Joe throughout this gameplay. What do you say? Please, Barack, don't accept it. I am working on a deal with Bill. He will give me top G lessons in return of some audios regarding Donald's first ex-wife. I have to think about it. Meanwhile, let me kick this last slowpoke tail cutter. The more they speak, the more I want to turn them into Snorlax food. I was expecting a drone reference, Barack. Well played. What do you say regarding the deal if I promise that I will not record any of Joe's nonsense? Will you also stop calling my wife Jinx? Don't push it, Barack. He will not stop saying you do bestiality with Jinx. I mean, Michelle. Please, Barack, don't take the deal. I will accept with one condition, Donald. I just decided on the water Pokemon, and it is not the shiny Gyarados. If you make any complaint regarding my choice, the deal is off. Please choose Goldeen. I bet Donald will quit this game like we did in Afghanistan. I didn't want to use this as a weapon, Barack, but if you don't take my deal, I will release on the media the recording I have of the second part of Joe's story from last episode. I just didn't do it because I don't want to create a nation that wants to commit suicide like they do it in Sweden. We have a deal, Donald, and you can say what you want regarding my choice. Viewers, subscribe for more examples of the art of the deal like this one. Good way of sub-begging Donald. And can we know what is the water Pokemon you chose, Barack? My choice regarding the water Pokemon? Is it Goldeen? Magikarp, but you don't evolve it? Kingler? Please tell us, Barack. This choice is an emotional one. It is one that I wasn't expecting to do in this episode. One that I mocked. It is a choice. Just say the damn Pokemon. All right, I will say it. Barack, please, I can't handle it. Can you say our next team member? It is Slowpoke, and it will have your name, Joe. Slowpoke is sleepy like you and fat like Donald. So I told myself that the first one to speak after I said Pokemon would have his name on our new team member. And why is that, Barack? I will not complain since I promised that while we were on Union Cave. But I want to know what is the reason you prefer Slowbro to Gyarados? The reason is quite simple, Donald. It will make a better story. What? It's her guys, that lovely picnicker. Oh my God, she doesn't stop calling me since I got divorced. This dumb bitch is not my type. What does she want? I don't care about how you dress your shitty Pokemon. Please, Donald, be nice to her. She even won a battle. Against a pea shooter, Barack, we defeated a tower infested by these pea shooters. Moving on regarding the slowpoke reason. Donald, please give me her number. I beg of you. I just deleted again by mistake, Joe. It was when I was about to send the number to you. Sorry, Joe. I'm so unlucky. I love that picnicker. Her cute face, her lovely smile, her legs. Everything about her is beautiful. Moving on, regarding the slowpoke reason. You said that it would make a better story. How does a slowpoke make a better story than the shiny Gyarados? In my opinion, saving one of these slowpokes that got their tail cut off and training it to evolve and destroy Team Rocket is an amazing story. It is the perfect superhero story. It has the tragedy, the training arc, and finally the saving of the whole Jato region. I can see where you are coming from with that story. Let's do it. Slowpoke will be a water Pokemon. I too love that story, Barack. I am excited by Slowpoke and to see what he will bring to the team. Unfortunately, he will not be useful for our next gym. I agree with you, Joe. Your next gym battle will probably be one of the hardest battles in this whole run. We don't have a single Pokemon who is good against Bug. Slowpoke is Psychic and Ban is Grass. In Splinter, we will have to trust again. I will be honest, guys. I am scared of Bugsy. Joe, that guy is just a bug catcher with a fancy house. You will beat him without any of our Pokemons fainting. I am still scared, Barack. Our party is not the best for this mission. Joe, we will support you in the next fight. Even if you don't defeat him on your first try, we will be here to help you, to guide you, and to cheer for you at the end. Slowpoke caught. 
I have to go, guys. Nice playing with you all. I have to run too. Melania wants to go shopping. President's out. I explore a new world. We got all that good shit. We got all that good shit. Welcome to the pharmacy. What do you need? We got all that good shit. We got all that good shit.